Thank you, Lord. 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 The sound man should put my sound on my microphone. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you, Jesus. I want us, this morning, it's a service of thanksgiving unto the Lord for his goodness, for his mercy, for his protection, for his provision, for all the miracles that he has done that has brought us joy. It is the reason why we are thanking God. It is the reason why we are celebrating God. I want us just for a moment, for a moment, I want us to lift up our voice to thank God for this reason that God has placed us in his family. That in your life, in your life, you don't go to native doctors to inquire what is wrong with you. You don't go and check who is after you. You don't go to ask who is against your destiny. He has placed you in a good family. He has placed you in his family. Jesus is the head of our family. I want us to lift up and say, Lord, thank you for godliness. Thank you for your family. Thank you for Jesus. Lord, we lift up our voice this morning. We appreciate you. For our family, the family of our Lord Jesus Christ, a great family, an awesome family, a wonderful family, Ah, Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you this morning. Lord, we thank you that we, one another, we are in one family. One glorious family. One beautiful family. One godly family. We are thankful. Lord, thank you that I am in your family, that I am in your family, that I am in your grace, that I am in your Take all the glory. Take all the honor. Take all the praises. We are thankful, Lord. We are thankful. We are thankful for all that you continue to do here. Lord, thank you. Lord, thank you. Lord, thank you. In Jesus' mercy, we have given thanks. Let us lift up our voice and thank God for the miracles we are seeing in this ministry. People that come here and see what God is doing always ask, how many are you people in that church? Praise the Lord. Because they are amazed at the great awesome things that God is doing here. It's not by might. It's not by power. He says it is by my spirit. He says by strength shall no man prevail. There are churches of 500, 1,000, 2,000 that cannot do what God is doing here. Praise the Lord. 
you and I know that it is God to do what is happening here. Jesus' kitchen, you don't know how much it costs in a month. You don't know. We are not begging, but God is feeding us. Praise the Lord. I want us to lift up our voice. Thank God for the partners. Thank God for the, those that promote the gospel, generally everywhere. But thank God for the faithful partners. Paul said he will never cease to pray for his partners. He will never fail to mention them in his prayer. I want us to pray for the partners, the companies, the associates, the families that God is using. Using to support the gospel. Using to bless his people. Using to do the great things he's doing here. Father, we are thankful. We are thankful for everyone. We are thankful. Every member of God's family church, every partner, every company supporting the gospel, Lord, we thank you. Lord, we give you all the glory. We declare that this is not by might, this is not by power. This is by the Spirit of the Lord. This is by the grace of God. We are where we are by grace, and where we will be by tomorrow is by grace. Lord, by strength shall no man prevail. And therefore, we lift up our voice. We bless your holy name. 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 We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor for all the goodness, for all the mercies uh, that we see here. We see here. We see here every day. Lord, we give you the glory. Lord, we give you the honor. We lift up our voice and we appreciate you. And we thank 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 you, Lord. We bless the name of the Lord. Thank you for our partners. Thank you for the families. Thank you for the companies. Thank you, Lord, for their lives. Thank you, Lord, for the grace upon our lives. Thank you, Lord, for what you are doing here. Hallelujah. 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 My Father and my God, we give thanks to you. 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 We give thanks to you for everything that is going on in God's family church. For everything that you are doing in Eden. For everything that's going on in our lives. We lift up our voice and we appreciate you this morning. And we say, holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. And we lift up our voice and appreciate him this morning. And thank you, Lord. 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 In Jesus' mighty name. Paul was a thanksgiver. Praise the Lord. Despite all the persecution and all the attack he went through, Paul was a thanksgiver. Praise the Lord. In Ephesians chapter 1, verse 3, he shows us the way. Praise the Lord. Blessed be the God, Ephesians chapter 1, verse 3. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with all, with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places, in Christ, praise the Lord. He has blessed us. He has blessed us. He has blessed us, not with some, not with few, but the Bible says with all spiritual blessings. With all spiritual blessings. Somebody say with all. With all. With all. With all. With all. Spiritual blessings. In heavenly places. In Christ. Praise the Lord. Lift up your voice and pray this morning. Lord, I'm grateful for blessing me. All spiritual blessings. All that I need to live. All I need to survive, all I need to exist is in Christ Jesus. And God has given me access through Christ Jesus of all spiritual blessings. My Father and my God, we thank you this morning. We give glory and honor to your holy name. Thank you, Lord, for your goodness. Thank you, Lord, for your mercy. Thank you, Lord, for blessing us with all, not few, not many, but with all spiritual blessings. 
in Christ I have everything in Christ we are complete in Christ we are perfected in Christ we are established in Christ in Christ in Christ in Christ father we thank you thank you for Jesus thank you for Jesus thank you for predestination thank you for adoption into sonship thank you Lord for what you have done we lift up our voice we thank you this morning we give you praise we give you glory we give you honor thank you lord and thank you lord and thank you lord and thank you lord in jesus mighty name Amen. let's thank god for holding our nation together even politicians will tell you that it's a miracle that nigeria is still together praise the lord somebody asked a question to our apostle and said why is it that with all the prayers that nigerians pray why is nigeria the way it is and the apostle said then imagine what will happen in nigeria if we don't pray all the prayers we pray praise the lord Hallelujah. if all our prayers and we still have unity we still have stability we still have advancement think about what will happen think about what happened without our prayers let us lift up our voice and say, Lord, thank you for holding our nations together. Our nation together. Many nations are at war. Look at Ukraine. Look at Gaza. Look at Lebanon now. Look at all the troubles in the nations of the world. But yet, the Lord has kept Nigeria. The Lord has kept this nation. Lord, thank you for peace in this nation. Thank you for unity. Thank you for stability. Thank you for you are the one holding this nation together. The Lord have an investment in Nigeria. The Lord have an investment. Lord, you have an investment in this nation. You have an investment. Much prayers, much anointing, much grace has been lavished upon this nation. And therefore, Satan have no place in Nigeria. Satan cannot destroy Nigeria. This is God's nation. This is God's nation. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. Thank you for the unity, for the peace, for the stability. Thank you, Lord. And thank you, Lord. And thank you, Lord. We are grateful. Lord, we are thankful. Lord, we are thankful. Lord, we are thankful. Lord, are thankful. To you alone be the glory and honor and power in jesus precious name Amen. tell somebody god is a good god. God, is a good god tell somebody else again that god is a good god, god is a good god god is a good god it is not because of what he will do tomorrow but because of what he has already done praise the lord he has done enough for us to be thankful. Praise the Lord. God has done enough for us to be thankful. And so when you look at where you are and where you would have been, won't you give thanks? Praise the Lord. Thank God for what he did not allow to happen. That accident, he didn't allow it to happen. That robbery, he did not allow it. That fire, he did not allow you to start in your place. Wouldn't you thank him for making it not to happen? If I were you this morning, I would say, Lord, thank you for not allowing me to be dead but alive. Lord, thank you for not allowing me to be in the hospital but to stand before you. To give praise, to give glory to your holy name. Lord, thank you for protecting our children when they are in school. When they are in school, Lord, they are in your hand. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. 
for watching over our children, for protecting our children, for keeping our children. Lord, we thank you. Many parents, they call them to school that their children are sick, that their children are suffering. But Lord, our children are kept by your power. You will keep them in school. You will keep them out of school. You watch over them, what they eat, what they drink. You watch over it. Lord, we lift up our voice and say thank you. Thank you for keeping our children. Lord, thank you for keeping our children. Wherever they go, wherever they are, when they play, when they study, when they sleep, Lord, thank you for keeping our children. Thank you, Lord. We are grateful. We are grateful for you are always with our children. You are always watching over them. You have given them angels over them. Lord, we lift up our voice. We thank you. We thank you, Lord. 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 We give you praise. We give you glory. Hallelujah. Thank you and thank you and thank you and thank you, Lord. Ah. In Jesus' precious name, we have given thanks. Think about it. Many parents, when their children go to school, they always say, maybe we we'll get a call. Maybe we get a call, but you have never gotten one, and you will never get one. For the master is already calling. The master is already calling on our behalf. The master is always watching. Go. The master is already watching in the name of Jesus Christ. Say he is watching over us. He is watching over us. His hand is upon us for good. Shout hallelujah if you are done one. Ah, 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 <laughs> oh, hallelujah, 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 oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Male brosu taya bale, male. Era baso tu yema nekado, era basan degere, era baso tegere. Era baya balaka tu le brosu taya balaka katu le bozonda kaya. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Oh Lord, we praise you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. We adore you. Hallelujah. Male, era boso taya male, era boso taya male, era baso tele bande gede. Male, era baso taya bale ke tele. There is a reason. We will never stop to thank him. There is something. There is something. Oh, there is something. Do I have a witness here? Yes, sir. There is something. There is something. I said there is something. There is something. Oh, there is something. Something. There is something. There is something. Do you have something? There is something. I said there is something. There is something. There is something. There is something. I said there is something. 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 There is something.
Prophesy to you this morning in your thanksgiving in this month of October you will never lack help you will never lack help because you have given thanks for last month because you have entered this month with praise the month of October the Lord will locate help for you Every day in October, wherever you are, day or night, as much as you have come to Mount Zion for Thanksgiving, I say to you, in the month of October, God will make available a ready helper for you, a ready helper for you, even from today, even from today. Help us will come to you. Help us will surround you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever plan you have, God will send you help. Whatever desire you have, God will send you help. Whatever business you have to do, God will send you help. As long as you have lifted up your voice this morning and call upon Jehovah as your helper, I said to you, he will never disappoint you. He will never fail you. In the name of Jesus Christ. This month, you will testify of strange helpers. Strange helpers. Strange helpers. Outside from their family, the Lord will send them. Outside from their village, the Lord will send them. 
outside from your knowledge the Lord will send them when the need will arise they will be standing in the name of Jesus Christ God's help I'm talking about God's help I am talking about God's help for somebody this month God's help God's help unlimited help supernatural help divine help divine support divine assistance this will be your testimony this will be your testimony in the name of Jesus Christ when those you know refuse to do what they ought to do God will send those you do not know to do what only God can do in your life in the name of Jesus Christ what is your portion looking unto Jesus looking unto Jesus the author and the finisher look less on men look more on God look less on men think less of men think more of God praise the Lord for as you think it in your heart so are you think less of men think less of brothers think less of sisters think less of people from your village your uncles think more of the unlimited think more of the unrestricted oh oh I will hear somebody's testimony this morning I will hear somebody's testimony strange helpers strange helpers in the name of Jesus Christ I have prophesied it over you to as many of you that have received it this morning you will encounter it you will experience it in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ so shall it be so shall it be in Jesus mighty name in Jesus mighty name shout hallelujah shout hallelujah praise the Lord I want us to bring out our please take your seats let's bring out our daily dose spiritual vitamins praise the Lord it will interest you to know that the month of October is the month of faith amen the month of October is our month of faith. That means when we say help us we locate you by faith, they must come. Because faith that honors God never fails. God honors faith that honors him. Praise the Lord. So in this month of October, which is our enlargement and expansion month. Did you hear what I just said? Enlargement and expansion month. It will take your faith to make it happen. So, what do you do? Stir up your most holy faith. Praise the Lord. Now, I'm not going to go to the note on 276-277, but I will encourage you to read it. Read it today. Praise the Lord. Read the note that is there, the month of faith. Amen? And October 1st, today is Independence Day. Praise the Lord. And today is holidays also. Praise the Lord. He says, have faith in God. Have faith in God. Not in any nation. Not in any economy. Not in any connection. But Jesus said to us, have faith in God. Praise the Lord. Mark eleven twenty two. Have faith in God, Jesus answered. No matter what you hear, have faith in God. No matter what you see, have faith in God. No matter what you feel, have faith in God. The reason why it is not working the way you thought it should work is to make your faith work the way it should work. Are you hearing me? The disconnection and dysfunctionalism is not for a breakdown. It's for a breakup of your faith. Somebody said there were difficulties, that's why I feel. Somebody said that there were difficulties, that's why I became who I am today. Difficulties teach us to have faith. Challenges teach us to have faith in the living God. As we come into this new month, let us apply ourselves to the understanding of the subject of faith. 
and how important it is in our daily Christian work with God. Jesus says to us to have faith in God, not in men or things around us, but to have our faith in God. That's why I said to you, don't live your life on what they say. Live your life on what God say. Forget everything they have said. Roll it away because they are just by the word of man. Man may speak, but he doesn't have the power to effect. Amen. I believe that as you yield yourself to the teachings of faith, your life will never be the same again. Hallelujah. Praise God and welcome to the month of faith. And welcome to the month of faith. And welcome to the month of May you increase. May you enlarge. May you expand. By faith in the month of October. In the name of Jesus Christ. Point of meditation. Do you know how important faith is in your life as a Christian? Do you know? Well, you will know it this month. Praise the Lord. Without faith, it is impossible. It is impossible to please God. And so by faith, we will please God this month. And always in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hebrews 11 says, And without faith, it is impossible to please God. Because anyone who comes to him must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who earnestly seek him. Do we believe that God is a faithful rewarder? Then this is your month of rewards. It is your month of rewards. Rewards of prayer. Rewards of faith. Rewards of good work. I say to you that this month is your month of diligent rewards. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. So shall it be. So shall it be.